What's up guys? If you're watching this, you don't have to like or subscribe. Just clicking the video helps out and I appreciate it. All right. Anyways, moving forward, stoicism can help you as a parent. As a matter of fact, yes, it can. I'm glad you asked, even though you didn't and have no idea who I am. Anyways, so a lot of us, right, we were raised with either one of our parents or both parents were extremely aggressive, you know, the, you know, just bad or whatever. And some of us had no parents or no guardians or whatever. And we just became aggressive ourselves. Time went on, we had our kids, and we started off treating them like shit. All right, it fucking happens, all right? So if you're kind of in that stage and you're upset with yourself, that's good. You should be upset with yourself because that's horrible. But you've probably got a great sense of humor. Anyways, if you're upset about it, you're obviously willing to change it, okay? So for me, for example, um, for my parents, well, my mother was never really around. She was always working. She was great. She'd take care of us. But uh, again, like I said, she was always gone. She was always working. My father sounded the same thing. They would, you know, have offset schedules. But he would beat us just because the sun went up and beat us again just because the sun went down. So moving forward, I had my own kids. And a lot of things were just really frustrating. And, you know, either I took it out on them the wrong way or I reacted the wrong way, especially during potty training with my daughter. You know, I would yell at her. Um, accidents happen, right? And uh, but I didn't, I didn't think about that. I, it didn't even cross my mind. It didn't matter. Accidents don't happen. It's a perfect world. You're gonna do what you were taught. You're gonna do what you were told. Whatever. You know, horrible mentality. And um, yeah, um, she was doing really good. And she was like, you know what? I got this. I got my toilet badge. I'm about to go back to pissing myself. I didn't take that too well. Um, yeah, I yelled at her or whatever, and uh, for about a month and a half, she couldn't use any other restroom but that one restroom. And I don't mean just, you know, we have three restrooms in the house. She couldn't just use any of them. She had to use a specific one. I'm going to go out. She didn't want to. She was scared, blah, blah, blah. I had to sit with her for maybe two months after that, you know, or starting in the middle of that point but for like two or three months you know i was working on it with her and i felt really bad when that happened after i yelled at her i immediately went upstairs and you know i just felt like that that was not the right thing to do she was crying oh yeah i made her feel like trash anyways that is what a lot of us do and we tend to put our emotions behind it because well what else am i going to do right i fucking grew up doing this i understand this naturally so i'm going to project it all right, and with stoicism, basically, you know, a lot of people have this misinterpretation that you have to be emotionless all the time, some hardcore dude that reads books, and you don't. So whenever something like that is happening, not just that, but just in life in general, you just separate yourself emotionally. So if you're going to do something, right, let's, um, the, now, the example I always use is, you know, archery, that's a great example. If you're gonna go for a competition for shooting bow, you're gonna practice, right? You're gonna set yourself up, you're gonna train, blah, blah, whatever. That you put your logic into. You you don't you don't think about you know oh I don't like to to be out at a certain time or whatever. Well you got to put in the hours, right? However you maneuver yourself, however you hold the ball, you adjust that. But you got to put in the hours. If you're taking the test, you put in the hours to study, right? Once you shoot your arrow at the competition, it's literally out of your hand, right? Not much you can do. Everything you practice, everything you studied up has added up until that point. So the arrow is flying in the air. Can't do much about it. Anyways, um, results come back and you don't make it. Are you going to hold on to that you didn't make it and let it ruin your day? Or are you going to figure out what happened and adjust it? Because a lot of people, they get really emotional, especially in the um, school area, right? They take a test, they didn't quite make it, or they super failed it because they didn't plan, right? And uh, they just don't come back. Now, the, there's one guy that, you know, maybe he did super fail too, but he felt like shit and was like, you know what, I got to change it up. I got to change my lifestyle. I got to do something else. Comes back and takes it again. Takes the exam, passes this time, right? That's basically the good example. So, a lot of us tend to do that. We, we come into a situation with our kids or whatever, and we try to project what we know or, oh, this isn't right because blah, blah, blah. And... Even if you're not doing anything, you know, even if you're not yelling, but you stretch yourself out, that's going to hurt you later on when you, you know, when your kids come up to you with different situations, different issues, their own problems, especially when they're teenagers, which I'm not there yet. <sighs> Fuck. But 
it's coming, not much I can do about it, right? And uh, yeah, it's just it's just a great philosophy, honestly. Um, life's always gonna happen. You're always gonna feel like you gotta be, you gotta be on top, you gotta blah 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 blah, right? But you can't always do it. You gotta you gotta pick, you gotta choose your battles. And once you're in that battle, then you gotta fight, man. All right. Um, yeah, honestly, that's the last thing I could say was just before you start yelling at your kids or you know, or your spouse starts nagging at you. You got to tell her how wrong she is because, you know, whatever it's logic, right? Anyways, <laughs> you got to understand that the outcome to that is probably not the most favorable. The most favorable is going to be whatever puts the least amount of stress and least amount of friction on you, right? And then once that involvement is done, then you do what you got to do and you get your results, all right? Same thing with your kids. They're coming up to you with an issue or potty training, for example. Action is going to happen. All right, you take your time with them, cool, whatever's. The more you take your time with them, that training, that potty training area, whoo, goes down. But yeah, it just, it helps out. Separate yourself emotionally, you know. That's it, thanks guys.